Does your email client have AI natively built in? No? Well, mine does, and it's called Missive. Before I show you how I use AI within my email client, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what Missive is by how I use it on a day-to-day -day basis. With Missive, I reply to my Instagram, Facebook messages for at least four businesses in one place. Obviously, send and reply to emails, but some are shared, some are private, and between at least 10 different email addresses, all in one place. Lastly, literally never BCC or CC anyone on my team in, because I can just invite them to see the original thread. Missive was an absolute game changer for my business and for me personally, and it comes in at the perfect price point, I feel, compared to the competitors especially. And if you want to give it a try, you can try it out for free using my link below. It does help support the channel. All right, so let's jump in and check out what the AI can do within Missive. So throughout this video, I'm not often going to be actually in Missive. I've popped out all of the emails that I want to show you examples on. That's just because I don't want to blur all the, pr the private information in editing, saving me loads and loads of time. Because I do use Missive for like work, uh, I have to keep some of that information private and confidential. So having a look at this first email, it's a pop out that I've got. It is a traditional scam um i believe and it's you know they're asking can we do a work on a video from something called the outsiders uh element blah, blah, blah. they want to pay like an exorbitant amount of money anyway i get these all the time what you would do start a reply here's the reply this is like without any prompting or anything you can basically just select reply negatively reply positively Obviously, uh, no, I don't want to be helping. So within a few seconds, thanks, thank you for your offer, James. Unfortunately, I'm not interested in work with uh, the outsiders at this time. Best of luck for the future endeavors. So it, got, it picked up the guy's name. It picked up the company and it knew that they were asking me whether I wanted to work for them. And it's created this reply saying no. So that's just like the first thing that this uh, AI can do. It's really, really cool. So if I wanted to send that, Boom, I could send it or I could edit it and send it like that. Next up is an email that I'm going to write uh, later, just saying thanks to Missives for sponsoring this video and that the video will be ready by about Wednesday. So what I could do is open up this thing called Prompt. And here it's already written most of it. So it's got a section here, Compose an Email About. And this is where I'm going to type in uh, the video that I said I would make for missive and that it's looking awesome and that it will be done by Wednesday. And all I need to do is click generate and here we go so it's given me a subject dear missive team i'm excited to let you know that the video i'm working on for you is looking awesome i'm confident that i'll have it ready as i have it completed by wednesday i'm sure you'll be pleased with the final result how easy is that i mean this is like this is going to be so much fun uh, what i can also do is uh you can take this uh improve selection by adding some emojis and generate that and let's see cool so it's slapped in some emojis and yeah you you can basically there's like loads of things you could do you could take a certain section of it as well and do prompts with that but yeah this is a cool example i'm going to show you another one so here's another example it is a tax consultation that i'm going to be that i'm trying to book uh yay for me and I've obviously covered up some of the information and it's, yeah, they're asking if MS Teams would be suitable. Uh, 30 minutes is fine. Uh, they obviously want some sort of indication of a date. So down here, I could say uh, reply to message uh, saying that the uh, consultation will be good uh ms teams is fine tuesday at 11 a.m sat or wednesday wednesday at 9 a.m sat 
And what else could we say? I think that's basically fine. Reply to message. Let's generate that reply. Thank you for your kind and offer a kind offer of a free free and confidential 30 minute consultation. I will be glad to take you up on this offer. MS Teams would be suitable for our call and I'm available Tuesday at 11 a.m. SAT or Wednesday at 9 a.m. SAT. I look forward to speaking with you soon. How great is that? <laughs> like just just in a few clicks uh, and obviously we can do some other cool things with the AI. So if you have a selection clicked uh highlighted for instance this part uh you could casualize the section and let's see what happens here thanks for the generous offer and you know, so it's changed it's changed the tone a little bit you know that's it's brought it down a little bit um but anyway uh so here's the sort of uh templates that you can use uh reply positively you can also create your own uh, reply positive, reply positive to a selection of their previous email, reply negative, reply negatively to selection, reply negatively and annoyed. I bet that'll be fun, but don't do that because like now the AI is just going to be this like evil, um, evil re replier to emailers. Uh, closing sentence for when you want to do it, fix grammar and spelling errors. Um, I, that's going to be great for me because I am terrible with that. Uh, improve selection so that's if you've got a piece selected with context without context make it more formal more casual convert so then they've got these other ones which they highlight as like really prominent features convert time zones i always use google for that but maybe i'll use it now if it's like straight in my browser and translate uh the to the detected language so if you're using the browser you can use the google thing but if you're sending an email and you want to translate it first i would rather use an ai translator as opposed to like google translate because it seems to get a little bit better using the ai all right i want to slide in one last really cool example and it's just a quick one but it's just how to save the prompts um so i've got a sort of sort of slightly longer prompt that i would use from time to time um you know, where I would interchange them depending on which company I'm asking for a sponsorship, I would maybe change their company name. And I would just obviously change what they do as a company, which I could put down here, their SaaS service, or maybe they are in some sort of automation or this or that. So I can keep those. And then all I do is save prompt for future. And then I'm going to call it uh, marketing email. You have to give it a emoji, give it the airplane. And then when I generate, it gives me a response, which I'm really happy with. But then in future, I can either just use this uh, here, marketing email, or you can find it here in prompts under your prompts. And then once you select it, you can edit it and you can update it, delete it, create new prompts. So yeah, having those prompts saved, you know, depending on what line of work you're in could be really powerful. Now, where do we go from here? Yes, I think this might start making humans lazier. Uh, no, I don't think it'll reply to every single message perfectly. It's just not there yet, uh, as with all of the AIs available. However, I do think that this is going to be a really, really good tool for spe for people, especially uh, like myself that aren't very good with written communication, that I can just have not a blank template there when I start. It's just going to be populated with something that I can make my own. I also think it's going to be extremely helpful for support tickets and support cases. You know, a lot of those guys that, uh, you know, when you deal with support, you have to put in those sort of like long, overtly formal, overtly uh, nice, friendly uh, replies. And now they maybe are not going to have to spend so much time doing that. And they can actually spend more time solving issues because a missive is a really, really powerful support tool. So anyway, thank Thanks again to Missive for sponsoring this video. It does help support the channel. And if you guys are watching and you like these kind of videos, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to learn a little bit more about Missive and like how I use it within my business, watch this video over here. Anyway, have a good day, guys.